Michael Jordan and his son Jeffrey. They just dropped their first collection in February of this year. Uh, it's called Six Rings. It is basically uh, you could get like a golden statue or silver statue or it's kind of a bull statue. And then the horns came out and on each of the horns, there was one, two, three rings. And it was supposed to symbolize Jordan's six rings, obviously, with the Chicago Bulls. Um, they sold for 2.3 soul each. It is a soul project. You can actually um, check out the floor on Magic Eden right now. I was actually looking at it today. Um, but what they do, what their aim is now is providing these athlete membership NFTs. So essentially you buy into an athlete and you get access to their entire inner circle. So you hang out with, oh fuck. So you hang out, uh, oh, this is going to be sick. So you hang out with whoever they're around. You train with whoever they train. You do with whatever they do. It's absolutely electric. So they just announced their first partnership. They're partnering with Lonzo Ball. Shout out my man right now. Uh, obviously, out of the Windy City as well. They are dropping his collection on June the 7th. They did not announce a price yet, but I highly suggest you check that out. I'm going to go on Magic Eden and actually peep it out after, after we get done here. It is a 4,200-piece collection. Hmm, 420, even. Hmm. Even ball players are stoners too. What you know about that? Um, they so they're gonna be dropping that on June the seventh. Um, so I'm gonna be checking that out. I, I don't have any soul ATM, but you know, who knows? I'm never opposed to picking some up and maybe getting involved in something damn cool and I can hang out with Lonzo Ball and his whole squad on the weekends. I'm with the big baller brand. Screw it. Next item up on tap. If you didn't see. <laughs> OpenSea, well, not necessarily OpenSea in some shit, but a former OpenSea employee is in some hot shit right now. Um, the first ever Web3 insider trading case has been uh, leveraged against Mr. Nate Chastain, Nathaniel Chastain. Uh, he was a former OpenSea product manager, and he was basically utilizing the confidential info that they get in order to pump the NFTs out onto the featured pages. He was getting that info the day before, maybe it was like a, a pre-mint or or whatever, getting a white list, scooping everything up. We know how the we know how the game works. We're degens and fucking flipping it for 10x and then laundering that money out instantaneously. So OpenSea caught on to it. They fucking brought in the feds. Literally, the DOJ and the FBI is involved. Homeboy just got scooped up yesterday. I'm telling you guys, it's absolutely bananas. So that being said, mind your P's and Q's. There may be no regulation. This might be the Wild West. Motherfuckers still watching. I promise you motherfuckers still watching. Big Brother's always out there keeping an eye somewhere. So I just highly suggest, I'm not saying you're doing insider trading, but I highly suggest just be cool. I mean, goodness gracious, all Friday, it is the first of its kind. Like this has literally never happened any other time. So I'm very, very interested to see how it shakes out. Uh, but like I said, FBI and DOJ are already fully involved and have made statements. Another thing I'm super excited about uh, before we bring in the guest of the day is the Fly Fish Club restaurant. This is in New York City. This is actually the First NFT restaurant. You might say, no, Colt, shut the hell up. There's Bored and Hungry. Huh. No, I already did my research. So unlike Bored and Hungry, where young man who, I don't know what, what his name was, but took his ape and utilized the IP, like, a, hey, like I was talking about in NFT 101, remember how he used utilized his IP to create Bored and Hungry, not at, not at, not at all even, even the close to being the same thing. So at Board and Hungry, obviously, you can utilize ETH. It's pretty doggone cool, whatever. But it's still a brick-and-mortar regular facility. Um, not to say that Fly Fish Club isn't a brick-and-mortar facility. However, you have to own their NFT to even get in the joint. So I did a little bit of research. And basically, it's already a private dining club. I don't know what the private dining club's called. I was watching an interview with the uh, head chef. But... It's already a private dining club. You own this NFT. It gets you additional access to like a back room and then all these celebrity chefs and all this crazy shit, which is just absolutely electric. So I have no idea what when it drops, what's all coming with it. But you know me being a foodie and how much I love restaurants. I'm all about that shit. And he also said you can use it. You can transfer it at any time. So it is completely on the blockchain. Good to go. You can gift it to somebody. So that's all good. And then you can also lease it out. So he was discussing some type of leasing feature that I was like, 
Well, I probably need to look into that because that's really interesting as well. I actually know, shout out Alpha Miner. Alpha, if you're watching, I know he does, uh, he's got his own uh, Discord where he does some leasing of some P2E games and some stuff. So uh, maybe we'll have to have old Alpha on sometime, talk about some serious Alpha on that end of things. Uh, but yeah, that's the Fly Fish Club restaurant.